And it is that uh, you know Jason Mitchell. I know him. I know him. I, 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 inter- Jason I interviewed him. He played him. Easy E, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, had a, I, I interviewed him. I talked to him for over an hour on uh, on one-on-one when that show was going on. Well, he's facing a career crisis, as Deadline puts it, over allegations of inappropriate behavior. Right. Uh, he has been let go from a Netflix movie. Uh, he And it looks like... Yeah, he's being let go. And a show that he's on too, right? And the shy, and the shy, and the shy, Eugene, the shy. The shy. <laughs> the shy. Uh, I was reading something while I was talking. <laughs> yeah. You were, you were reading what you were reading. Man, because I actually just went, the chai, and you just, it just flowed so eloquently. <laughs> and it's like, it was a UTA. Everybody's entitled to a couple JTEs. And uh, UTA has dropped him from uh, representation yeah, this, this right now. That's not good. That's no. not good. That means there's a lot of evidence. I, there's something I, happening. When I posted it on Facebook, I said, you had to do something. Something bad. Because you can get, we know people get dropped from projects now yeah. instantly. When your reps are like, we're done. Before it even comes out. Before yeah. it even comes out, it's bad. You're yeah. not even your reps. The show you're on, the movie that you're on. Well, the show on, and the movie are one thing. You, That's I mean, one thing. Did, but this, when your agents, like, agency yeah. and your management are like, yeah. nope. This is bad stuff. And yeah. and like I said, you can't. I mean, I, I interviewed the man for for over an hour. And, and the time I had with him on air was nice. I don't know who he is as a person. And I have no thing, idea. I've been having a lot of conversations with a lot of people that I grew up with back in Chicago and everything. They're like, oh, well, you know, people don't. we don't have all the evidence and this, that, and the third. True. People just trying to say that. I'm like, yeah, I, we don't have it. We the public don't, yeah. but it looks like they do. Somebody they clearly does. do, right. because they're also saying it's harassment on set, and supposedly there's another story about him assaulting a woman back, like it was either 2012, 2016. That's come out. So there's a litany yeah. of things that are starting and, to slowly and, come to and the, the surface. Other, the other thing that will also come to the surface to whatever this might be is they're going to start showing that airplane clip. Do you remember the airplane uh-huh. clip? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So he freaked out in an airplane. Yeah. I remember I asked oh. him about the airplane. Yeah, by I remember the way, about the interview. What did he and, say? Uh, well, they they, they the public. Shut you I, down. This was, I was, this is a kind of behind the scenes story, which is funny. So I had watched this clip, and he he really loses it mm-hmm. on the on the plane, and he comes in, and I and in the middle of the, and I asked him, I said, "Is there anything you don't want me to ask?" I always ask every guest that comes in, "Is there anything we can't talk about?" He's mm-hmm. like, "No, ask me whatever you want." I said, like, "Okay, that's what I said." So we're sitting there, we're having a conversation. The publicists were watching from the side. So I said, "Listen, before you, we have a nice conversation here, and like I, I want to that thing that happened on on the plane." <laughs> Publicist ran in the door like hey. the publicist, like whatever nap she was in, she snapped out of it <laughs> and starts waving her hand like she's landing a plane, and and she's and I'm like I ha- I had to stop I had to, dude I had to stop one, my Cody. interview in the middle I've never stopped the interviews and she's like no 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 and I was like he's like I don't care we can talk about it and she's like no 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 and I'm like uh, and I was like I wanted to say don't stop my interview first of all right. first of all second of all. We asked this right before him, right. but they were cool about it. We, we did, did you guys edit it out or was nah, it still I mean, there? He okay, never, okay. he never. No, 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 no. We we never talked. You about never it. talked. We about never it. talked okay. about. It. So yeah, that it was it was cut out of it. But anyway, okay. that that will be thrown. In, whether he's these things are not true yep. or it'll not all be put just, into yeah. that. Yeah. It's just crazy because I mean, look, like nobody, we all make mistakes and nobody's perfect and right. uh, and and it, except, except for Cody, obviously. Right. But uh, but it's just one of those things where like people do get, react sometimes in a bad way and they're having a bad day, whatever it is, and it gets caught on video and then you're screwed, right? right. But but then if you're having a <coughs> bunch of things that yeah, are come it out, it doesn't help the resume. No. Yeah. Well, no, and all... you don't, and, and just because you like likes an actor doesn't mean that you know them. Right. So. Exactly. And the same thing people were saying, like you said, I was hanging with him for an hour, had a great time. I know a bunch of people was like, well, I hung with him. I right. didn't see any signs of that. They're saying, from what I've heard, right. his co-star on the shot that plays his girlfriend got so uncomfortable with him with all the sexual harassment, yeah. she ended up bringing her fiance on set to keep that. And then they had to say, look, I can't do scenes with him. This is all of the situation, Martin Lawrence and Tisha Campbell towards the last season of Martin for people yeah. who remember. Good show. It was people were saying like he was she was saying he was sexually harassed trying to really kiss her and things like that and that's why in the final season of Martin they were never in the same room. Right. Mm-hmm. And so this on top of a bunch of other stuff I met somebody who is a crisis manager it is the most hilarious thing ever when you talk to them what they got to do. They grab all of your social media yeah. they take shut access it down, to right? it mm. no they don't shut it down no. they take access to it mm. to make sure anything you have that could be detrimental oh, they get rid of it they gotta wipe it out yeah. they gotta try to find anything around this you know anything floating around the internet see how they can get that scroll yeah. they try to do all of this I, that's gotta be a job that, that, that's a movie I was gonna that's say that's a movie yeah. in itself doing that stuff. so yeah. clearly he can't have one of them for this right. because if everybody's just like we're wiping our hands right. of it well because that's the thing is it so like you said earlier though 
whatever it was, the UTA, 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 yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. UTA, and in the, the shows, they got they got a whiff of this thing quick before it got released as far as what it was. And whoever it was probably said, "Listen, we're going to tell you what this guy. We this is the facts that we have on him. These mm-hmm. are the things that we have on him. Now we're letting you guys know. Make the decision because if." They did, if it was if it was stuff that we're like no 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 he's gonna be he's gonna be clear of all this stuff this there's something fishy about it they're gonna stick with him because because yep. it's not like a, a in a lot of like a washed up actor this is a guy who's got a lot of shit going down he just did Mudbone he's got he's got a lot he's of, heavily profitable he is and and he's got a lot going on and to where he's like, he's a rising star yeah so you only drop him if something if, something, it's, if it's something if, bad. if there's some shit going right. down and so especially like, in this day like and nobody's age. dropped Johnny Depp or Amber Heard right they're just like no. both crazy and whatever is going on but like they're still working well because in this day and age, too, like we know if something comes out on somebody, the social media backlash of why do you still rep them? Why are you sponsoring them? All that yeah. comes out. Netflix is saying, look, we can drop you from this project. The shot is saying, nope, we just got renewed for season three. You're not about to mess this up for right. us. But then his reps to be like, we don't even All want three our are like, we're out. And his, not just his agency, his management. Your manager is like, is like no. That's yeah. That's and, and management's different because management are yes. more like are more like friends. They Man, st- they stick right next to you. Yep. So if management ju- dumps you, also yeah. this is bad. That's what people this do not bad news. people do not get that when your yeah. management goes bye yeah. bye. This is bad I'm, news. Something bad is I'm happening. back in artist management and like it's basically you're babysitting. Right. Mm-hmm. Like you don't you don't, so if, so if you're cutting Wait, that you off. Do management? Sorry? You do management? Well, I used to back oh, in the day. Oh, the I used to do a music <laughs> manager. Okay, I'm saying those people no. need to be rep. No, 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 I'm back in. It's just musicians. Yeah. I'm just doing musicians. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. So yeah. if you play music, I Riley's, yeah. Riley's going to rep you, and then he's like, this is my friend. He's from the Chai. <laughs> from, the from, the chai. chai. from the Chai. I need him. I've been trying to find a manager for so damn long. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're out there. Yeah, no, they're out there. But yeah, but that's that whole situation is sad because, of course, like we just were just saying, his career was on the upswing. It was going high. Right. And for whatever this is, is just... Ended it. Well, some <laughs> shit. It, yeah. it just had to just put it at a halt. It's ended. Yeah, I wonder when they're gonna uh, when when the details of this thing is probably gonna come out soon. Yeah, probably come out soon. So yeah, it's it's un it's unfortunate. And the other thing we're not talking about, it's unfortunate for for the victims here too, man. I mean, the fact that they just want to if it's true, if it's true, uh, that the, the fact that they just they're just going to work, they're doing their thing, and the and and this and this happens. Do you but, guys think it would be better for humanity, society, like when these stories come out that okay? We, you know, this is there's a reason why this person was dropped from the entertainment industry or whatever, and then we should stop talking about it. Like, do you do you think it's no, like it's, it's not that it's, easy it's though ben- legally. It's, it's beneficial. No, I just mean I just mean like that. It's these stories are always in the news. Like, mm. do you think that's actually good or bad? You're for talking society? about for like the mental society for the mental yeah, psyche like, of society. Yeah, like just to like be continue talking about yeah. an actor or like a celebrity like no, I, doing this kind, this things kind of that stuff, are not. This kind of stuff needs to be exposed, especially like yeah. a young up and coming actor who is uh, that that you, you just you can't get away with that kind. Of shit. I agree with that part, but at some point is, it also becomes like obs- like society becomes obsessed yeah, with these stories, think, and then that's all they talk well, about. Well, I think too, because right? the problem has been for so long they haven't been talked about. You know what I'm saying? For right. so long things were so exactly. under wraps, and now it's all coming to light, and it's all that. See, we've been telling you these things have been happening, right. Right. and now you're seeing them. And I get what you're saying. Like if we keep hearing about them, it it devalues people's brains. Like, oh my God, what am I thinking? Right. Do I want to be in this business? Do I want well, to do like that? It's like the news. It's like the nightly news. Every, like the every, news. every every three <laughs> seconds on the nightly news is. Like and this guy died. This guy yeah. died too. This guy got it. Oh, look, it's a, wait, look, so a cat in a tree. The cat died. And every, <laughs> it's, it's like it's so yeah, depressing. That's what it is. Death yeah. and murder. It's, but then at the same time, look, like when I, when I back in the day when I was in, in in management, I worked on a movie with Harvey Weinstein. I never thought that he would be outed. Right? Like that. You used to see that shit. What do you mean? No, 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 no. I, I only was only in the room with him once. Okay. But uh, but my it, we worked on uh, Bobby. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, and it's just one of those things where like I never thought back in the right. day but you heard that about, someone but you heard about shit back no. in the day. You didn't even hear no, shit. No, about. no, okay. But but you could tell there's power there. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, also the back in the day it was worse. The entertainment industry, the music industry, like was way more shitty and sexist. But, way more. Yeah. So, but my point is like I was happily surprised when people like that do get outed, right? Because there's a difference between Harvey Weinstein that like oh you just did a right. bunch of bad shit, than like you know somebody doing something bad like once, right? Uh, Harvey Weinstein was. The was the, uh, the the John Gotti of sexual harassment. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know yeah. I mean? I mean, there's you love, want to yeah. sexual harass somebody, you got to go through me. No, like, but, whoa! But he, but he was. He was, but like, he was. Yeah. He was one of those two. He's like, you want a job? You want a job? Hey, plant? Right. Come here, plant. It's like that. He's he is he is the ultimate filth. Um, right. And then again, we don't know a what Jason Mitchell has been accused of, and b well you know, the actual details. The, of the, the, yeah, the uh, details. The I details mean. of it, and and b uh, whether or not he's guilty or not. So um, it's it's just it's a it's a shitty situation. Regardless.